Welcome back to my channel, Practically Home. I'm Aubrey, and if you guys are new here, hi and welcome. Today we're gonna be talking about my top bedroom must-haves. I feel like when it comes to creating the ultimate bedroom retreat, I feel like there's just a couple bedroom staple pieces that you have to have. So I'm gonna be breaking down all of my favorite bedroom must-haves with you. I'm gonna be sharing some products that I've been absolutely loving in my own bedroom, and hopefully you guys will love them too. So let's get started. When putting my bedroom together, one of the first things I really wanted for our bedroom was some good quality furniture pieces. So I invested a little bit into a couple statement pieces for our bedroom. Bedroom. One is you want a really good bed. This bed frame that I have is probably one of the most loved furniture pieces by you guys. This bed I purchased from wafer.com. I've talked about it in my bedroom reveal video. I've also done a furniture review on this bed, so I'm not gonna chit chat too much about it, but you wanna make sure that you pick a really good quality bed that you can also change out bedding and it's still gonna look good. So you want a bed that's gonna be very versatile and it's gonna stand the test of time. But what I loved about it is that this bed was actually a Pottery Barn dupe and Pottery Barn has in a very, very similar bed style, same color. Um, the only difference was is that it has some storage underneath the bed, but I didn't wanna pay the price that Pottery Barn was charging for it, so I literally hunted down a an exact dupe of this bed, of the Pottery Barn one, and so I found this one off of Wayfair. Um, for some reason, Wayfair keeps like changing the name of the product, but the product's still the same. So this one on Wayfair is the Hansen Upholstered Low Profile Standard Bed by Jocelyn Main. It's listed for $820. It comes in a king size and it also has an adjustable um, headboard on the back. So if you guys, if your mattresses are different heights, you can adjust the headboard to fit the mattress that you have. So that way there's no gap in between. But this bed frame I have just loved so much. And what I also like about it is because it's so neutral, it has really clean and sleek lines. It could really fit a lot of different styles, whether it's modern, a little bit more traditional, or maybe you really like that transitional style, this bed would be perfect for you. It was super easy to put together, so this bed I really love. I also like the fact that if I ever wanted to like change up the color of my bedding, that my bed frame, I don't feel like I have to get a whole new bed frame to do that. So it's nice to just kind of have a nice clean slate as my bed frame and then with my bedding I can swap out colors depending on the seasons or if my style evolves and develops. The next item that is a definite must have for my bedroom is what you sleep on, you guys. So we just recently bought a new mattress when we moved into this house. I mean, if you think about it, you spend more time in your bed than anywhere else in your home. So we purchased a quality mattress. This is by the brand Serta. I will link it down below, but it's a nice plush mattress. Also has a pillow top to it, so it's like really comfy. But I also layer my bed with a mattress topper, which is a foam mattress topper. I purchased this one from Amazon. This is by the store Linen Spa, and I thought it was a really great deal. For a king size, it's $119. It does have um, Amazon Prime shipping, and then I believe this is also Amazon's choice as well. It comes in two different sizes. There's the two inch, and there's also the three inch. I did do the three inch um, just because, well, honestly, I don't really know why I did the three inch. I was just thinking maybe it's like a little bit more plush if it's three inches versus two. So anyways, we have the three inch. We've had it on our bed for probably about a year and a half or so. So we have had this product for a long time and um, we've slept on it obviously every night and it's been amazing. And honestly, it's kind of funny because whenever my mom's like watching our kids, she'll like sit on our bed if the kids are watching a movie and she's like, your bed is so comfy. I'm like, I know. So if you guys don't have a mattress topper, maybe think about getting one because it really does make the biggest difference for your mattress and how you sleep. So we have the mattress. I have a mattress topper. I have a really good bed frame, but then I also have a really great 
quality comforter on my bed. So my husband and I are a little bit, like we're totally opposite sleepers. I love to sleep super warm and I could sleep with like five layers of blankets on me. My husband is not that way. He is, he loves to be like cold and like cool and you know, all of that. So we're definitely opposite sleepers. So when it comes to like finding a comforter, I wanted to make sure that it was gonna be like an all season comforter. We do live in Utah, it does snow, it gets really cold here, but it also gets really hot in the summer. So I want a comforter that's not that I don't feel like I have to change out depending on the season So I found the perfect comforter. This one is from rest and rest is a comforter duvet brand They provide luxury comforters to like all the big hotels like Hilton Marriott the four seasons So it's really nice to have like a luxury comforter on my own bed and for this comforter We have it in a size king slash cal king and they come in three different options There's the light there's the all season and then there's there's also the ultra warm. So for my husband and I, because we are opposite sleepers, I wanted to pick something that was perfect for both of us, something that we'd meet in the middle on. So this one is the all season comforter and it's 90% white goose down with a 800 plus fill power, which is amazing. And when you feel this comforter, it's soup. It's like ultra soft on top. Now I always have a comforter cover over. So like mine's on my bed currently. So I have a cover over it often. I mean, it comes with this like peachy soft finish. Like I said, we are just such opposite sleepers and the King Cal King is perfect for our bed size um, And it also I like that it also hangs over so it's not too small not too big It's just perfect for our bed and I absolutely love it. I will link this down below I believe I also have a code that you guys could use. I will link that down below um, So that way you guys can get a little discount if you want, um, but yeah, the comforter by far is one of my favorite bed products. All right, the next product I wanna show you guys, I think I've talked about this before on my channel, but this is actually a phone charger that we got from Amazon, and I originally bought it for my husband, but you guys, he doesn't use it as much as I do. <laughs> So I have taken this over, but this has been really great. It's really compatible. Our kids definitely hijack our chargers. I will link this down below, but I believe when I clicked on my purchase order from Amazon, this was like no longer available. They have so many other options. So I will definitely find one that's very similar, but what's nice about it, it charges my phone. It also charges my Apple watch and it also charges my AirPods and an Apple pen. I don't have the Apple pen, um, but I do have the, AirPods, the watch, and the phone. So what's nice is that this is like an all-in-one charger. This, by far, has been a lifesaver for me. I keep this on my back desk over there in my little workstation, so it's nice I can have like all my little gadgets charging at once, and it's just a huge lifesaver. The next item I wanna talk about is really investing in a rug. Now, I've had my fair share of rugs over the years. I think when it comes to finding a rug for your room, you wanna make sure that you're gonna pick a rug that is going to be really good quality. This rug that's in my room currently is from Rugs USA. I love the pile height. This is extremely heavy. I would say when picking rugs for room, don't go with jute. I love the look of jute, but jute material is not realistic pretty much for any home. And I just say that because with kids and like vacuums, it's very difficult to clean and you cannot take your bristle vacuum and go over jute, it will ruin the rug. So if you love the look of jute, the only way to really clean it is to like hang it up and beat the crap out of it. So I really don't go for any type of that fabric for um, main living room areas because it's just not a practical rug to have. Um, I will say that picking out rugs for a bedroom, I would go for something with a little bit more of a lower pile height, something that's really easy to clean. I will link my favorite rug that I'm using in my room currently Currently, right now down below but you want to make sure that you pick a rug that is going to hold up with some foot traffic especially if you have animals or whatever it is you want to make sure you can pick a rug that's really easy to clean one of my must-haves is for sure a good quality throw blanket for your bed now depending on how you like to dress your bed currently I have my duvet cover and then it goes my quilt and then it goes my throw blanket now sometimes I swap back and forth just depending on what I'm feeling. But currently right now, that's, that's how I dress my bed. And this throw blanket behind me, which is right here, this one is from Casaluna 
from Target. They're absolutely amazing. Mine has been through the ringer. It has definitely gotten a ton of love, a ton of use. Watched it so many times, but I really love this blanket. I love that because it is a knit, there is a quite a bit of stretch to it. So whenever it is on my bed, it definitely covers all of my nice white bedding and it keeps it nice, but my kids can still hang out in a room without me worrying. Okay, the other bedroom must have that I wanna talk about is a humidifier. I decided to purchase a humidifier to see if like, that would help us during the night when everyone sleeps. Oh my goodness. So I got this humidifier from Amazon. It's from Aqua Oasis and it was $39. This is also Amazon's choice as well. What I really like about this humidifier is that it's a little bit on the smaller side. It does have a 360 adjustable rotation nozzle so you can switch which way you want the humidifier to point. And I like that it's really quiet and it also has an auto shut off. So if the water starts to run out, it will keep trying to pump out water. It will just automatically shut off. So if you guys don't have a humidifier, definitely think about getting one because it's really helped the way we sleep. It also helps keep your room a little bit on the cooler side and it's just been really great. So this has been just one of the best purchases recently that I've really been loving. Well, these are all of my bedroom must-haves. A lot of these items are really centered around the bed for a good night's sleep. So don't forget to check out those items down below if you guys are curious about any of the products that I mentioned. Everything will be linked down below. If you guys missed my bedroom reveal, don't forget to check out that video down below.